The simple cubic lattice is the simplest lattice structure and consists of eight atoms at the eight corners of a cube. In the ball and stick model shown here, the distances between the atoms are greatly exaggerated. In actuality, the atoms are packed much more closely together and touch somewhere in the structure. A more realistic model of this structure is the space filling model. Here the size of the atoms is in correct proportion to the cell. This space filling model demonstrates that in the case of the simple cubic lattice, the atoms touch along the edge of the cell. In the model shown here, each atom touches three others along the three edges of the cell. We can generate the unit cell of the simple cubic lattice by including only those portions of the atoms that appear inside the cell boundaries. In the case of the simple cubic cell, each atom lies one-eighth inside the cell. Since there are eight of these fractional atoms, there is the equivalent of one atom inside the unit cell. The body-centered cubic lattice contains the same eight vertex atoms as the simple cubic lattice, but with one body atom in the center of the cell. This simple change results in a structure that is completely different from the simple cubic lattice. Due to the atom at the center of the cell, the vertex atoms no longer touch along an edge of the cell in the space filling model. Instead, each of the vertex atoms touches the center atom. The atoms are said to touch along the cube diagonal of the cell, which connects opposite corners of the cube. The unit cell for the body-centered cubic cell is shown here. In addition to the eight vertex atoms, the cell contains one body atom that lies entirely inside the cell. This gives the equivalent of two atoms inside the cell. The face-centered cubic lattice contains the same eight vertex atoms as in the simple cubic and body-centered cubic lattices, but also contains six atoms located in the six faces of the cell. In a space-filling model of the face-centered cubic unit cell, the atoms touch along the side diagonal of the cell. Each face atom touches the four vertex atoms that define the face of the cell. The unit cell of the face-centered cubic cell is shown here. The unit cell contains the same eight vertex atoms as a simple cubic and body-centered cubic structures, each one-eighth inside the cell. The six face atoms each lie one-half inside the cell. When combined with the vertex atoms, this gives the equivalent of four atoms inside the cell. The term coordination number refers to the number of atoms touched by a given atom inside a lattice structure. We will consider the coordination number of the simple cubic lattice first. We have already seen that in the simple cubic lattice, the atoms touch along an edge of the cell. In a single unit cell, one vertex atom touches three other atoms along three edges of the cell. To see the remaining atoms, we must look outside a single cell. The same atom also touches three other atoms along the edges of three other cells for a coordination number of six. The coordination number of the body-centered cubic cell is more obvious. Any body atom touches eight vertex atoms for a coordination number of eight. The coordination number for a particular structure is the same regardless of which atom is chosen. Therefore, we can also say that each vertex atom is surrounded by eight body atoms, again giving a coordination number of eight. Last, we will demonstrate the coordination number of the face-centered cubic cell. Recall that in the face-centered cube, the atoms touch along the side diagonal of the cell. Let us first consider the coordination number of a face atom. Recall that a face atom touches the four vertex atoms that define the face. Each face atom also touches eight other face atoms, four above and four below, for a total coordination number of 12. Now let us consider the coordination number of a vertex atom. 
Each vertex atom touches four face atoms within the same plane, four face atoms below and four face atoms above, again giving a coordination number of 12. In addition to the three cubic structures previously discussed, there are two close-packed structures. Close-packed structures consist of close-packed layers of atoms within which each atom is surrounded by six others. The difference between the two close-packed structures lies with the way in which these layers are stacked. In no case do two close-packed layers lie on top of one another. Instead, each atom sits in a dimple formed by three atoms in the previous layer. We will use color to represent the layers. Here, each blue atom sits in a dimple formed by three green atoms in the previous layer. Imagine that a second layer of green atoms is added so that it is equivalent to the first layer of green atoms. Then, a second layer of blue atoms is added that is equivalent to the first layer of blue atoms. This alternating layering of close-packed layers generates a structure that is known as the hexagonal close-packed structure. A second layering scheme is as follows. The first two layers are the same as before, with each blue atom sitting in a dimple formed by three green atoms. In this case, however, the third layer is applied in such a way that it is not equivalent to the first. If this stacking pattern is repeated, with every third layer the same, this generates a structure known as the cubic close-packed structure. The second packing pattern is called cubic for a reason. The structure is equivalent to the face-centered cube. Here we use color to illustrate the close-packed layers within a face-centered cubic cell. Let's take a moment to review. The unit cell for the simple cubic structure contains the equivalent of one atom inside the cell. The atoms touch along an edge of the cell and the coordination number is 6. The unit cell for the body-centered cubic structure contains the equivalent of two atoms inside the cell. The atoms touch along the cube diagonal of the cell and the coordination number is 8. The unit cell for the face-centered cubic structure contains the equivalent of four atoms inside the cell. The atoms touch along the side diagonal of the cell and the coordination number is 12. The hexagonal close-packed structure consists of close-packed layers of atoms stacked so that every other layer is identical. The cubic close-packed structure consists of close-packed layers of atoms stacked so that every third layer is identical. This structure is identical to the face-centered cube. It therefore has the same occupancy and coordination number.